What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. little bit of backstory and context for you before we start the video. So Trent is a seasoned local and has really put his hours out on the water and I was lucky enough to come out and film him fish Vallambago 2021. He invited me out to come fish and film but I knew if I fished the tournament I wouldn't have filmed anything and I really wanted to put out a video for this. So I had zero expectations going into this. I didn't know what was going to go down but I knew it was going to be a great time and oh boy it was. So here is our 2021 battle and what went down. Full disclosure, I really didn't film too much Friday morning. It was really dark and we moved around a ton between 6 and 8 a.m. I was really tired too and I really didn't have any want to film. But as time went on, sun came up, I woke up, fish woke up, stuff started moving around, we started moving around, I turned on the camera. I'm not kidding when I say this sums up the first two hours. All right, we're moving. Round eight. Where are we moving to? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you. Quite the chatterbox today, Trent. Oh yeah, Terry. <laughs> legend. How's the bite been? <laughs> Not good yet, we're still looking for fish, but we'll find them. They're, we're marking a few fish here and there, but nothing too consistent as of yet. How many how many spots have we been to by now? I think we're on our like fifth spot so far. We started up shallow, didn't have any luck. Went to the horseshoe, marked a couple of fish, now we're heading towards Indian Point as of now. It shows up so much better when it's not dark. Oh, that was a fish for sure. Oh, yeah. On a wrap, so I start fishing a wrap. Moving? So Trent ended up catching an eye before I could get the camera out, and I got great footage of him struggling to take the hook out of the mouth. But. There's more fish down there, and we ended up catching one more. Boys on. That's a good one. confidence, I was actually about to move, and then I'm on a wrap. I got a wrap on. And the one fucking hammered it, and then I dropped back down, and the next one came up and caught it. I didn't even mark it. Are you like off on your own a little bit? No, uh, Augsburger's got his group of guys here and we got our group of guys like George and Luke is here and my dad. Fuck, I have, I, I have no clue where you're at. Uh, it's just, that. just south of the tree line, going off Duck I Hill. I don't even see a tree line. I was trying to find it before and I was like, where the fuck? There's a... Uh, just move spots, drop down, mark fish right away. This one came up and fucking hammered it. Good 14 I'm sure. I might keep it for dinner. I've got my fish to register already, so I don't know if I'm gonna. What do you catch them on? Uh, gold cast master thread spikes. And some of these these fish are really aggressive, so I um, jigged one all the way up. I had a couple down there, and usually when there's a fish down there right now, but when you get a couple down there like that, that competition sets in for them, and usually you can get one of those fish to bite but I raised this one all the way up. There were still fish down on bottom. The mark disappeared after I got like two feet underneath the ice. I, I dropped back down to bottom and fish came up and freaking smoked it. So I'm guessing it was the that same fish. Like kind of when you drop back down there, start looking for it again. But he didn't hesitate. Out here on Poygan still, we found some fish this morning in about five feet of water uh, out of Norwegian Bay. and. We ended up, I caught five eyes there, we caught, I caught two, one fifteen, one sixteen, and then I also caught a slot fish that was 20, 20 inches, and then I caught two 12 inches over there too, and we just, we kind of lost those fish, there were a lot of sheep headed in there, and I caught all those fish on a wrap, now we moved up off Indian Point, and I've got, I just caught a 12 incher and another 14 incher. So I'm just kind of looking to get a kicker fish here, but if not, it was a good day.
grab my douche. Five minutes have been good to us here. Uh, I was jigging and I finally started to mark some fish. I picked off one 12 incher, then dropped back down, released that one, popped another one that was about 13 inches, so not great. But then I, I dropped down, marked another one, and popped about a 16 incher. So let's see if we can pick off another one here. So as the day went on. We were just hanging out. We had a 16 inch to register and we were just farting around, hanging out and getting ready for day two. Did a pretty good first day on Boygan. Uh We ended up getting a limit, but this morning we struggled a little bit to find them, but once we did, we caught some nice fish. I caught a 20 incher that I threw back in the slot. I have a bunch of shorts. Ended up getting a limit. It was a fun day all in all. Be back at it tomorrow. Back at it, day two. Day two. Let's go. Alright, just got out to the first spot. We stopped here last night. We were on some scattered eyes, but the ones that came through bit. Um, just marked my first fish. Didn't really do anything, so I'll probably make a move here, but we'll get on them. Got a few guys out here I'm talking to and kind of work together and we'll get on some fish. Caught one early in the morning. As the day went on, we caught a few here and there. Not every single one was on film, but uh, we just hopped from spot to spot. The pressure was really off because Trent weighed that 16 the day before, so we were really just looking for a kicker. and um, It was a lot of fun. We were just tooling around, not a whole lot of pressure on us but um you know it still didn't prevent us from trying to get on some good fish uh we've been getting a couple here and there one of my buddies caught a 22 and a half there's some fish here they're just so scattered it's tough to fish them seems like every hole you drop down you'll mark a fish and just depends it's totally random right now sometimes you get on a little pot of them but it's tough all right midday update we're out here, we're marking some fish. <laughs> Our fish that we found, uh, they aren't a secret anymore. There's, look at all the people. But uh, we got all our fish we need to register, but we're just trying to kind of catch that kicker fish and we'll see what happens here in the last couple hours. So I'll speak for Trent on this one because he's busy drilling a hole right now. As you can hear. But camera guy got to put the camera down for a while, ended up catching one. Brought my flasher today just for shits and giggles. I'm glad I did that. It's been pretty slow, but we haven't caught one in what, like an hour and a half? Yeah, we're searching. He's got a 16 he's gonna weigh. Fishing for fun. We're just out here fishing for fun. Nice chill end to day two out on uh, Huygen, so it's been, a, it's been a good weekend. As it got closer to two o'clock, we decided to toss it in for the day, and out of Trent's three tickets, he didn't end up winning anything, but we still had a really good time and it was a great experience getting out.